Welcome back. Today I'll be trying a new idea I thought of. A new, completely original idea that I definitely did not steal from anyone. Of course, I'm just kidding. I got this idea from One Proud Bavarian's Quantum Leap CK2 series. I very much loved the idea of it at the time, so I wanted to do something like that on CK3. Now, the difference here is that Quantum Leap was a mod for CK2 that randomly sent you to a new character after you died. Currently, there's no mod like that that exists for CK3. At least, not yet. So instead for this, I begin the game by having it randomly select the character for me, and after that character dies, I go back and have the game pick again. This forces me to play in areas that I don't normally play in, and also may put me in situations that I don't usually find myself in when playing this game. It is honestly a very fun way to play the game, and it allows you to get really stuck into the roleplay and stories of different characters. This will be a long-lasting series on my channel, so if you like the idea, you should stick around and find out what direction this world goes. Anyway, show me this good. I hope you enjoy. Let's go. Today, we will be doing something a little bit different. Okay, so hopefully I've explained everything in the intro, but if I didn't, I want to make a continuation series where I play the lifetime of a ruler, and after I die, I switch to another ruler. And you know what? I don't do this very often, but I'm going to play an 867. Okay, so let's just immediately start. Let's see what we get first. Oh, the game lagged so much there. All right, so our first character is going to be Sheik Tiljad ibn Ashraf of Zamor. Seems to own at least three counties. We're tribal, we're Ashari. Looks interesting. We're, we look to be in a place where there's a lot of competition. All right, cool. Let's just see what happens. Okay, let's see. We're 45 years old, so we don't really have that much time. Actually, we're whole of body? That's actually quite convenient. Our son and heir is Ibadi for some reason. Um, I'm just gonna change that immediately. That's cool and all, but I think in this area, we kind of want to go out and conquer. I'm not sure what I can do, but I think I would just want to establish a strong emirate here. Maybe even conquer Morocco from the hostile Zaidis up north. We are unmarried, and I think I'm going to honestly stay that way. We already have three children. I mean, I don't really have to be the one who bothers with secession anyways. I don't really play tribal, so I don't really know what to do here. But I'm going to go martial, because I want to make sure I have a strong enough army. We should probably convert our counties as well. Okay, that's a good court. I didn't even look at our traits. We're fickle, arrogant, and arbitrary. Our son is arrogant, greedy, and ambitious. Wow, okay. I think we want to get some alliances if possible and honestly i don't think i should be getting married actually i should but not for an alliance but for someone with marshall and i will marry my son off to get an alliance sure this seems like the strongest alliance i like this my daughter's already married off to someone i can't get an alliance with so that's a useless marriage oh wait um what my other son already owns land so i can probably yeah i could already just ally him and it's far away from me, too. I'm not sure how this has happened. That's very interesting. But okay. Let's look at our culture here for a second. We're stoic. We have African tolerance. Saharan nomads. Desert rebats. Equal inheritance. And gold dust traders. So we should heavily rely on light cavalry because of this. Oh, yeah. We don't spend gold. I forgot about that. Okay. So my goal here, I think, is to form some kind of prosperous emirate under Morocco. Maybe even become the Moroccan Sultan, but I don't know what, at my age if I'll be able to do that, even though I do have whole of body. I also want to adopt clan ways. All right, so I want to form Seuss. I think that would be the easiest thing for me to form. Marry my wife, let's convert her and also get her on chivalry. That's gonna help immensely. Look at that. Army gold maintenance. Yeah, that's not really helpful. I'm tribal, actually. Now, I don't know if I made the good or right decision there, but it doesn't really matter. All right, so who is the weakest? Everyone around us is pretty strong. These guys are very weak, actually. We can definitely raid these guys. Let us immediately do that. Oh, they're already being raided. Damn it. We can take down this army. Yep. 32 loot. We can probably go deeper, yeah. Let's raid this entire coastline here. Hey, I forgot, I, I forgot how fun it is to actually raid. I don't play travel at all, so I, I I forget. Oh. Oh, well, there goes my... Oh, no, I thought my son died. Okay. Good, at least it wasn't my son. Let's at least cash in. 
We can try to fight this, but I don't think we have a good chance. Oh, no, they're just gonna attack me. Yeah, I don't think we stand a chance of winning this one. Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well, that's just the natural cycle of tribal... I'm sorry. 42 years old. She's gay. There is a low chance of children. And she got a child. Like, how does that work? Alright, what do we do with this money? That's the most important thing. Getting more levies and making my cavalry stronger is good, but I think... I don't know. Getting more prestige overall is best. At least to begin with. Prestige, prestige, prestige. That's important. So we're going to build gathering halls everywhere we can. I'm now known as the Unready. I'm not sure why. Got to make sure feasting and hunting is very important as tribals, I assume. So I'm going to make sure I focus on that as well. Additional taxes. With those additional taxes, I'm going to host a feast. Let's get maximum prestige. That should start not even going to worry about anything else. And as I'm getting the prestige from this uh, feast, I'm going to increase my men at arms. There we go. Good amount of prestige. Now I have a good amount of prestige. This guy is at war. Holy war. That's him distracted at least. All right, those guys are fully upgraded now. I think it's about time I go to war then. Now you have sus. And I'm not talking among us. That was such a stupid joke, I'm so sorry. I should've probably raided first and then attacked, because that's kind of the, the strat, but I completely forgot to do that. Again, I'm not used to playing tribals. You're going straight for my cap- Damn, okay. There we go. Ah, oh, nice. Alright, good. One battle. Oh, my son became an emir. That's nice. Okay, so next I want to form this duchy. 125, very soon. Let's create the Duchy of Sus. We are an Amir. All right, immediately already shot up into a very good spot. All right, now what do I need to adopt clan ways? Absolute tribal authority. Come a level, okay, level five development. And 70% of all military and civic tribal era innovations. Well, first of all, having my capital in the mountains isn't very good, I'm gonna be honest. How do I get my development up? Because I can't... Wait, I can increase development, but it'll be much easier to do it here. So I'm going to do it there, and then I'm just going to move my capital here. It's already at 4 development, and it's dry land, so it's easier to develop. Yeah, negative 60% for Desert Mountains. You know, I'll do it from now. We'll be making less money, but I think it's fine. We should also increase our tribal authority. Boom. Can I raid these guys again? I can, and so I will. Okay, maybe not the Arabs, though, because they they're they they're kind of strong. They have Mubarzin as well. I'm not fighting his armies. I'm absolutely not going to do that. They will destroy me. Ah, that's nice. Perfect. He's distracted. Not gonna lie, it's actually very fun to play tribals. Raiding is, is a very fun thing to do. Good, 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 good. Blade of Allah. Holy warrior. Okay, we got this county to 5 development. All we need is absolute tribal authority. 883, I can change that. We need 70% of innovation though, and I'm not honestly sure what that is. So I believe we need 10 innovations. We currently have 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the military and civics. Oh, so we need 4 more. I don't think we're going to be able to do this, man. <laughs> but we will be able to at least create a strong and prosperous emirates. Let's continue our conquests. Ships of the desert. Diplomatic range, attrition taken in desert and desert mountains. Increases the chances of trans-Saharan merchants spawning in your court if your realm capital is located in Africa. Well, that sounds pretty cool. Oh, no. I forgot. Confederate partition exists. Oh, God. Well, <coughs> um, too bad. Okay, I've spent, like, the past five years helping my allies in all their wars. And it's got me to illustrious, so I believe I can do something with this. I can now conquer duchies. Or I could subjugate. I think I want to subjugate. I don't think I would be able to create my own kingdom. Wait, no, actually, I can. You hold three or more duchies. Oh, I can so do that. Make sus, Zamor, and Tafilalt. So, I will actually subjugate this guy. I didn't even look at his allies or how strong he was. I just complete. I just declared the war. We're 64 years old and we're still doing fine in health. Also, Andalusia just completely split apart. Alfred is not so great. He's actually just the talker. <laughs> He's Alfred the talker. There's a kingdom of Argao. What? <laughs> Why is this a thing? Oh no, I'm ailing. Wow, that's surprising. I can create this duchy. There we go. Done. What words would look better? 
kind of like these board instead instead of this. We might as well just take Teflop before we form it anyways. I think we should be fine. I'm at war, so I can't do this. Oh, no. I might actually have to help my ally here because I'm involved in this war down here. There we go. Now, let's just go for Tefilot. We form Tefilot, and then we create the kingdom. Okay. Now, found a new kingdom. Boom. The Sus Court. <laughs> That's funny. Let them see their Norimir. Sus. Can I vassalize my son? Yes. Can I also vassalize this guy? Very close, actually. He's ambitious, unfortunately. Proud vassal's opinion of you. Let's sway him. Even though I don't have to deal with succession, this is actually looking very fine. Actually, I don't want these vassals, so I'm going to give this to my son. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, lovely. I mean, I did essentially just replace the kingdom of Anbia, but you know what? I like this. The Grand Emirate of Sus. <laughs> but this is pretty simple. All the AI has to do is just get one more tribal authority and 70% of the innovations and it can become a clan. We're actually considerably stronger than most of the realms around us. Oh, well that's not good. That's exactly what I don't want to happen. Oh, I can take a vassal from him at least. You know what, yeah, I'll do that. Okay, I think I can fix succession by just granting him independence. Right? Because no way you get that now, because I don't have any, oh no. Oh no, I might need to cut down on size, honestly. Because I really do not want that succession. Like, that- the, the, I, I just don't want that. I don't want that at all. I might actually have to get rid of these vassals. Screw it, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna grant them independence, because I don't- I just don't want to see that. Okay. That's fine. That's better. I don't care about, like, what lands are taken away. I just care about the border gore. <laughs> oh, I'm dead within a year. All right, just finished up my raid, and there it is. 29 year reign, he died at 74 years old. Oh my god. That's nothing I gotta deal with. We're leaving Amir Karasha of the Grand Emirate of Sus to someone else. All right, let's see who it is. Um. <laughs> What is this? What's going on here? I'm tangry. What? This is not going to last very long at all. Do Cosmo the Wordsmith, 44 years old, of the House Shishman. We are at war, a holy war of County Rodopi. What the fuck is going on? So I'm under the King of Bulgaria, who is also tangry. Oh no, this ain't good. I have to convert, there's no way. All right, we're greedy, honest, and gregarious. We are great eminence, whoa. And we're august. So we're married to the daughter of the king of Bulgaria? Yeah. Oh, there's no point in me helping there. There's just no point. Wait, but we're allied to each other, so I can't actually get independence. <laughs> I don't know what to do. There's also a Orthodox Duchy of Bulgaria. I think the direction I want to go with this one. Greedy, honest, gregarious. I'm a gray eminence as well. I'm not very warfare oriented. I think I don't want to really grow and try to, you know, take or create a kingdom. I think I at the very least want to control all of my de jure duchy. And I don't know, just, I guess, build what I, I, I guess just keep what I have. And I guess I'll stay tangry? I'm tribal. You know what? If I can become feudal... Yeah, alright, you know what? I think that's a telling sign that I should convert. Yeah, I'm just gonna convert to orthodoxy. There we go. Glory to God and all that. And now I can become feudal. Wait, we can ally Syriax as well? What the f- what? How did the Syriacs get their independence? Whoa, Armenia! Wow, Armenia is massive. <laughs> They're doing very well for themselves. You know, good for them. Good for them. The Safarids seem to be the dominant kingdom in Iran. Look at this weird, like, kind of, like, trade empire that Cyprus has. Oh, and there I go. Seven-year reign. 
well, that does it for Duke Cosma. Vladislav now takes over, and I he will most likely win this war. At least I hope so. There's no way the AI can mess this up. I don't know about that one. I, I, I think we're just going to cut most of that out because there wasn't really much that happened. Really, all we did, like, actually nothing happened. All we did was we started as Tengri, we converted to Orthodoxy, and then that's it. <laughs> we declared war, and that's it. So not much there. Let's see what these guys are doing. Emirate of Sus. Still fighting the Claimant War, but has fought off the Holy War from the Idrisids. They're getting Holy Ward again, though. I mean, they're still alive, at least. Now, I wasn't planning on rolling for a third character, but, I mean, this second one was just so terrible. There, nothing really happened. It was so short. Most of that, you're probably not going to see it, so I might as well just try again. Random character. Oh, oh this... This is something? <laughs> oh, what the hell do I do? Duke Abahu of Ledhan. We're Syriac Orthodox. Oh, surrounded by the Abbasids. I honestly think the smartest thing to do is uh, swear fealty to the Emperor. We're brave capa- Shh, fucking what? <laughs> Yo! 28 Marshall. Oh, dude, I can build such a strong professional army. Life footman, dude, what is that? First, let's look at the Syriac culture, because I'm actually quite interested. Formed from Aramaean under Roman influence around the year 300. We're spiritual, we speak Aramaic, and we have Aramaean heritage. We're in the same heritage group as the Byzantines. Refined poetry, dryland dwellers, loyal subjects, and city keepers. Interesting. All right, so first things first, I think we want to attack Cyprus to get our uh, de jure capital. We don't have the capacity to get any alliances. She's a Muslim Romeo. I'm going to be honest, you don't help me. I feel like I could get some alliances somewhere. Culture acceptance is not very good. Roman pride? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Marriage acceptance towards other cultures, negative 50. Yo! All right, so I have no chance then. Well, I'm going to convert my wife. We have our son here. I'm not sure how you pronounce that accent, but I'm just going to say Baram. Any Syriacs in the comments can tell me how to pronounce that. I highly doubt there's any Syriacs watching this. We're 50 years old and we're flagging, so we don't have that much time. We're zealous, compassionate, and brave, as I said earlier. Brilliant strategist. Might as well just go all in on Marshall. That's pretty much all we got. Holy warrior, aggressive attacker, flexibility. This guy is a legend. 31 Marshall. And he's also a holy warrior. I genuinely believe... What are the episodes? Are, mm, not much. I genuinely believe if I get strong enough... I can take on the Abbasids all by myself. Oh, they have a billion allies. Maybe not. Okay, so we get no special units, unfortunately. But I think what we need to do is we need to get some armored footmen and we need to pay for them. Because we can pay for our armies. Oh, we can get so many mercenaries as well. Why are mercenaries so cheap? Mercenary higher cost, negative 30 percent. Wow, man. I'm so prepared for conquests. Like, this character is so prepared for conquests. I'm not sure how I own this. I'm not even sure how I became independent. Maybe I should look at that. Conquered by populist revolt. Yeah, so I revolted. Okay, this is a scary situation to be in, but I think Kipros is going to be my main target. Okay, we're not going to touch our men-at-arms. We're just going to focus solely on m uh, mercenaries. I mean, we might as well go for it. The absence are distracted, but their vassals really aren't. Yeah, I guess this could work. I mean, what else could I get, really? Sure, let's do this one. Let's get a Cassis Belli, then. My wife's on patronage for some reason. What's this? I'm learning a language. I'm learning Greek. Okay. Fair enough. Might as well. Oh, that's probably why my wife was on patronage. That makes a lot more sense. All right, I guess I'll keep her on that, then. Speaking of languages, let's set court languages. Probably Aramaic and Greek probably want to be the main languages we learn. Prepare conscription. Yes. Let's just get the best knights we can. Vernons of Chaldea. All right, let's go for it. If we get declared war on by the Arabs, then so be it. 36 commander advantage. And that's not counting Holy Warrior if I were fighting heathens. I'm not spending any money at all. <laughs> I'm not spending any money at all. You know what? I'm I'm confident I don't need to call my ally. I'll get them when they land. Yeah, they're going to land there. Fair enough. You can take that. He cannot get mercenaries. 
He's losing money. I'm only gaining money. Heck, I can get even more mercenaries. I probably should get more mercenaries. You know, I will, just to be safe. But I'm not gonna get any allies. They take and tell Hamid, hey, are you gonna come for me or are you just gonna sit there? I've learned Greek though. That will definitely help. Okay, where are they going? We can fight in the mountains if you want. I'm just gonna mirror their movements. All right, they're gonna sit there. I'm gonna move up and bait them. Yeah, okay, they're coming down now, right? Come on, see something down so I at least have defensive advantage. There we go. That's gotta be win. There's no way I lose this. Oh, they have so many men in arms. Oh, they have so many men in arms. Um, I gotta go in debt. I gotta go in debt. But it's fine, 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 it's fine. Uh we lost that. 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 Um, well, um. Alright, I guess I will call my ally. Alright, sure. Uh, that didn't go very well at all. I forgot about the, uh, men in arms situation. I don't have a lot of them, and they're not very good at all. Oh, he's leaving. <gasps> oh. Wait, why are you sieging that? Oh, no, the Arabs are attacking now. Oh, I can cut this- I can cut this guy off. I need to kill this guy. Okay. The issue is this. We need to take this back, so let's just go by C. Okay, the Arabs have also lost a lot of troops. We're still not doing bad. Um, that first loss was not good, but we can come back from it. We're, we're, we're still totally fine. Okay, we're taking that back. We need to go down there. My mercenaries are leaving, unfortunately. I've yet to get extra taxes. Take out the Arabs. Okay. Now we wait. Alright. There we go. Now we've inherited the war. Should have probably called my ally. Were... Gr gr nah, I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna try. 259. That's what you love to see. Okay. So, we're in a pretty strong spot. We've got a lot of money. Our troop count actually isn't very bad, but that's mostly due to our mercenaries. I think we can get more mercenaries, though. If the Abbasids didn't have all these alliances, I would have attacked them, honestly. The thing is, my main issue is I shouldn't be relying on mercenaries. I need to make sure I build a super strong army. Now, the Arabs have Mubari Zoon, though, which is the worst thing, because they counter heavy infantry. So I'll keep my light footmen, but get rid of the bowmen. I do not need that. Onagers are unstationed. Then we will get armored footmen and put all of our money into that. Also, light footmen. We're gonna put all of our money into our military. And just to make sure this realm stays strong, we're going to immediately put our son into a martial education. And we're going to educate him. We need a pretty much Fortress Lebanon here. <laughs> this is, uh, some- We need to prepare for all that war against the Arabs. We'll get stalwart leader, and then we'll go into stewardship. I wanna also make sure I have enough money to build s specific buildings. I'm waiting for something to happen to the Abbasids. I just had a nightmare about World War One. That's great. <gasps> the Khalif is dead. Oh, considerably weaker. Where are your allies? Where are your allies? That's what I thought. I could attack them, and I could probably have a good chance of winning. There's always the possibility that he can get allies, which is what I'm afraid of. He has plenty of space for more spouses. He has a son. He can get alliances through his sisters. So I think it's wise to just wait for something to happen. Even though, actually, he's a pretty nice guy, so... I don't really think anyone's gonna rebel. What's happening to you? Okay. You're getting Holy Ward. Oi, okay. Do I... Is my truce... Oh, my truce has been up. I should get a claim... Stalwart leader, then we'll go into stewardship. We're gonna go domain? No, wealth. Build these barracks. 800 Mubari Zoon. I, I'm screwed if I fight that. Can I allow you? No, I have to wait. Oh, my ally's gone. Oof. I have to wait until they're actually married. Apparently, Georgia has been formed. They're very strong. We might as well. We might as well. I think it's about time I get some claims on Cyprus again. They seem to be very- actually, they're allied to the Romans. Oh, that's so bad. That's actually so bad. And there's a Roman Civil War. What do you know? This is kind of exhilarating. Sitting here, just building up. Just <laughs> at any moment, at any moment can get attacked by the Arabs. Honestly, we just gotta- we just gotta hold out until the Crusades. <laughs> Got about a hundred and seventy plus years left. <laughs>
We just gotta hold out to the Crusades. The Christians will be coming soon. All right, let's get a Dynasty Legs. Obviously, House of Warriors. I mean, we have to. I mean, we need to be warriors in order to survive, okay? We're 60 years old, and we're still fine. No big Arab Civil War yet, unfortunately. They have the Romans, which is fine. No, just in case, I'll call Georgia. Just in case. Actually, no. That's so much prestige. I should be fine. Oh, damn. They're right there. Uh, I guess I have to call you in. Just in case. Even though I don't think the Romans will come and fight me, but just in case they do. Historic invasion. <gasps> e Uh-oh. The bad guys are here. I say this pretty much every time, but... If you don't know the story of the Corbations, I highly suggest you look them up. Because they are essentially evil incarnate. Like, legitimately. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, this is my chance. Oh, I must still attack. I'm still going to attack. Might as well just before I die, right? Oh, I really want to attack the, the Arabs. Oh, I so want to. Okay, we've taken that. Can't hold it. I'll give it to... Oh, do we have a confederate partition? Of course we do. We can't form a... It's fine, though. Okay, I'll give my son one of these. Give you just a barony. You would join your nothing. You would join your really nothing. Oh, I love the idea of this. I love the idea of this. And I will do it. I'm just gonna do it. We gotta go all out. We're gonna get some mercenaries. We could call Georgia, but I don't want to. Oh, I really feel like I should switch to medicine, honestly. Just just for the time being. Yeah, just for the time being, so I can just live a little longer. Just a slight bit longer. It doesn't have to be much. All right, they've lost that war. Gonna be coming back with but with a very weak army. They have no Mubarizun. I have so much money. I'm not gonna spend any of it, just so if I do die, the AI can spend on mercenaries. Oh no! Uh, damn it! Oh, that's so. No, no, and we have to leave. Uh, why? All right, you're in a good spot. You have a lot of money. You can get mercenaries. Uh, soon enough, get alliance. I'm not sure if the AI can do this. Honestly, I'm really not sure the AI can do this. I have no confidence in the AI to beat this. Oh, it's so unfortunate. But then yeah, we'll get mercenaries, right? And then we'll, then he'll win, right? Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Gotta have faith. Gotta have faith. But that was Duke Abahu. I think we I think we did pretty well with them. We expanded a little bit. We took Beirut. We took Cilicia. And hopefully his son can finish the conquest of Antioch and connect his holdings. Hopefully he also gets a good martial education. If that's the case, I think he'll be pretty strong and formidable. But that is where we're going to have to leave it there. Let us look and see what we will have next. Random character. Okay. We're Bavarian. We're a small count. Hmm. Under Steiermark. Oh, looks like to be completely family owned this place. All right. Very interesting. We have disputed heritage. We're wrathful, just, content, insightful thinker. All right. Not sure what we're gonna do with this guy, but I guess we'll see in the next one because this is where I'm going to end it. If you did enjoy this, please tell me in the comments if you enjoy this kind of series. And if you want more, please tell me and like and whatnot. Also, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. I'm actually very excited to continue on in this world. I mean, look at this place. <laughs> look at this world, it's complete chaos. I mean, I just realized, the way I just realized we're 18 years old, so this is going to be like probably its own episode actually with this guy, Count Gebhard. But anyways, it has been Alton HUG signing out. See ya.